everybody, this is Lee, and I'm once again clarifying um, something uh, from the 10 key values for the Green Party, and that um, there are some who want to reinterpret or misinterpret what they feel that the Green Party is. Um, I'm going by their four pillars and their 10 key values um, that are stated over and over and over very clearly. And so um, there are about three specific uh, of the three of the ten key values I'm going to read off, and then I'm also going to go to the recruitment manual to actually again read off what is there to show specifically what the Green Party is looking for in candidates, um, how they're recruiting specifically what they want, and why they want it. And the fact that these are recent documents, that they were not created like 30 years ago, so the definitions have changed. Um, the recruitment manual is from about 2004. And then um, the 10 key values are on the website, meaning that it gets updated frequently, and the 10 key values are consistent. And so um, this is what the Greens stand for. Um, number two out of 10 of the 10 key values is social justice and equal opportunity. And their definition is as follows. As a matter of right, all persons must have the opportunity to benefit equally from the resources afforded us by society and the environment we must consistently confront in ourselves, our organizations, and society at large. Any discrimination by race, class, gender, sexual orientation, age, nationality, religion, or physical or mental ability that denies fair treatment and equal justice under the law. So that's their social justice and equal opportunity uh, value as defined by themselves. Um, also, they um, have number seven out of 10, feminism and gender equity, and their definition as is as follows. We have inherited a social system based on male domination of politics and economics. We call for the replacement of the cultural ethics of domination and control with cooperative ways of interacting that respect differences of opinion and gender. Human values such as gender equity, interpersonal responsibility, and honesty must be developed with moral conscience. We recognize that the processes for determining our decisions and actions are just as important as achieving the outcomes we want. Okay, number eight out of the 10 key values, respect for diversity. We believe it is important to value cultural, ethnic, racial, sexual, religious, and spiritual diversity and to promote the development of respectful relationships across the human spectrum. We believe that the many diverse elements of society should be reflected in our organizations and decision-making bodies, and we support the leadership of people who have been traditionally closed out of leadership roles. We encourage respect for all life forms and increased attention to the preservation of biodiversity. And so what I'm going to do is post a link specifically to this page, the 10 key values and the definitions of those values. Uh, so people can once again get an understanding of the Green Party position on those elements of their platform. Now I'm going to go to the Green Party Candidate Recruiting Manual. It's the first edition, which has been published in 2004. And I'm specifically going to look for, um, uh, not not necessarily the type of races that they're running, but the type of people um, that they're looking for, uh, how they're making their selections. And if you um, if you remember, like some of the recent candidates um, who have run at the top of the ticket um, in recent years, uh, like of course Jill Stein, Sheree Honkala, um, uh, Cynthia McKinney. Um, among others, uh, Winona LaDuke, uh, who ran with Ralph Nader, it kind of indicates what it's a reflection of what their values are. And so I'm looking at recruit candidates of color and women. I'm going to read through this section and um, also post a link so people can read it for themselves. 
Recent election results have proven that green voters show a preference for women and candidates of color if given a choice. Running candidates of color and women also enables us to reach out to new constituencies and build new relationships in the community we are organizing in. Conversely, it reflects poorly on our party to run predominantly male and white candidates. This is not to say we should never run white male candidates, but that we should make every effort to ensure that our slate is gender balanced and diverse. The best way to diversify the slate is to actively recruit candidates. Women candidates often report that the reason they ran is because they were asked. Sometimes, often in fact, these candidates had to be asked, controlled, pastured, and asked again before finally agreeing to be the candidate rather than part of the support team. Finding diverse candidates means going out of our comfort zones. It means working with the community you seek representation from and getting to know the leadership. Contact elected officials and others who have connections within the communities you are recruiting among to see who they know in the community that would be open to the prospect of running as a green candidate. It is important that we start building relationships and trust among organiz organizers of color so that they do not feel that they are being tokenized. And so that is the Green Party's mission, uh, the guide, the recruitment manual, the goals that they are attempting to reach. Um, and I'm going to post a link to this entire manual so people can read through it themselves and see if they feel that they can be a part of that program. But anyway, um, I'll let people, uh, again, <laughs> reinterpret <laughs> how they feel uh, or what uh, the Green Party is trying to do and the reasons why they're doing it. And I am going to insert here also that um, the, and these, this is an outside party, outside the two major party systems, but inside the two major party, specifically with the Justice Democrats and the brand new Congress, that they have also stated that they are specifically looking to uh, balance the U.S. Congress to reflect um, the population of women in North America, that they want to run a slate of candidates in 2018 that reflects the gender population of North America. They want their candidates to be 51% women and then the rest men. This is what their goal is. And so these are progressive groups who are recognizing that there is a need to provide gender balance inside our governing bodies, our legislative bodies, for sure. Certainly at the federal level, the U.S. Congress, and then further down ballot. And so the lack of representation of women or the imbalance is severe to the point where it's a threat to health care, it's a threat to decision making uh, regarding basic um, economic realities um, in women's lives, social, cultural, economic realities. And so these various groups are making efforts to uh, realign the balance. They are encouraging women to run. If you are interested in running, you can join one of these groups. There are also groups specifically targeted at women um, that are training and recruiting candidates for office. Uh, there, there are many groups to choose from. Um, I'm just speaking of uh, these uh, three, uh, the Green Party, the Justice Democrats, and the Brand New Congress. Um, but there are many more. And I say good luck to you if you are a woman running for office.